Hey everybody, looks like I went live successfully. Well, it's been a day already. Um, so many of you know I work at a church and our church service, we have two of them on Sundays. Um, they went long and then I had to meet with somebody and then I went to lunch with Peter. So I just got back from lunch and settled in. Fortunately, I had prepped this in advance, so we're good to go. But after this, I'm taking a nap and then I'm gonna prepare for tomorrow's team meeting that I have. So it's celebration right now, and now is a great time to join my team if you've ever been considering it. Now through the end of February, anyone who joins my team will receive uh, the normal starter kit, which is $125 worth of product for only $99 and free shipping. And hey Deb, I'm glad you made it live. Um, or you can, uh, so that's the basic, but you also on top of that get your choice of two things. You can get either the glass mat studio, which I can show you right here. It's, it's a nice big size glass to work on. I don't do it, use it for videos because uh, the glare from my lights, I haven't found a solution for that yet. Uh, so I can't do it for my videos, but that is a $60 value and you can choose that free on top of the $125 in merchandise of any choice of yours, all for $99, including shipping. You just have to pay, pay tax if you're in a tax state. Um, the other option is instead of the glass mat, if you don't want that, you can just choose an extra $30 worth of product. And um, it's a great, great uh, deal. So plus you get to be part of my team and that's so much fun. I've already had my Zoom this month, but you could join next month if you're far away. But um, anyway, so if you're interested in learning more, you're invited to my team meeting tomorrow night if you live locally and uh, there's no commitment. You can just join and see what it's all about. Uh, join my event and see what it's all about and then decide whether or not you want to join my team. Uh, hi, Betty. I'm glad you could join us from snowy Canada. It's not snowy here and I wish it was, but oh well. So today I have my last Valentine project for you. This is a series episode number four of four and I've got a cute little Ghirardelli pouch uh, that it was inspired by Angie from Stampin' with Amore. So I hope you enjoy it. And I'm gonna turn you down and get started because starting is the quicker way to my nap. All right, so let me turn my lights down so I get better lighting on the project. There, I think up. Oh, color balance, come on, chime in. All right, so we are going to start with a piece of designer series paper that measures five by six and a half. So this is the treat container that we're making. And I didn't close up this end because I wanted to show you that it holds one, two, three Ghirardellis. That is an awesome treat if you ask me. So I just, they go in there pretty easily. Well, I say that, they really do. I didn't have any problems yesterday. They go, they fit right in there and drop down and then you can adhere this together, which I will show you how in just a second, but pretty quick and easy. So we'll start with a piece of designer series paper that is five by six and a half. And then what I'm going to bring in my simply scored tool, which is a great tool, especially if you like to make boxes and bags and pouches like today. Because this is designer series paper, I'm going to use the thick end, the thick ball versus the thin one, because this one often can rip designer series paper because it's just so thin. So that's why we use the thicker end here. And on the long side, so with the long side up against uh, this top ruler, we're going to score it half an inch. So I'll put my uh, stylus in that half inch groove and then just pull down here. And by the way, I probably used a terrible paper to show this to you because it will be a little bit harder for you to see the score lines on camera, but we're gonna make do. So half an inch, one and a half, and these happen to be aligning on the lines nicely, which is great. Three and a half, oh, here's one that's off. And these dimensions are all on my blog right now, and four and a half. 
So half an inch, one and a half, three and a half, and four and a half. And then we're gonna turn this and we're going to score on the short side at one. Oh, it's on the line again, that's nice. One and a half. Three and a half. And four. And so those are all the score marks. Now usually when we're making a box or a bag, you have to do some cutting here. No cutting on this one at all. So this is the side that I want on the outside. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna, I'm gonna burnish along all the fold lines. So I'm gonna bring my, um, my folder in. This is a pretty side too, huh, with the little hearts. And I'm gonna try to find all the little fold lines and I'm gonna burnish on them. So on the short, on the long side, there were four. There's two. I can see the score lines much better on this reverse side. And then uh, I'm gonna just turn it around here and do this last one. So this will give you a nice crisp fold. And then I'm gonna fold the other way as well. There's two over here. It's a pretty quick project, people. You're gonna like it. Although I will say, we, at three Ghirardelli's, it's a little bit more expensive a treat than uh, a lot of the treats that I offer. So now that we've burnished, with the wrong side still up, you're gonna find the end, so uh, when it's landscaped like this, the end on either left or right that has the half inch mark. I can see that this is where the half inch is. So I'm gonna fold that over. This is going to be the tab where you're adhering it. Now you can use green glue, it will take you just a little bit longer to set up, or you can use tear and tape. Um, for my sample, I used green glue and it's obviously holding just fine. But let's show you tear and tape. Because I don't necessarily use that all the time. What DSP is that? You know what, Betty? That is a really good question. This is the DSP from Celebration. Let me see if I can find my Celebration brochure. It's called Most Adored. Hmm. I don't know where my brochure is right now. I don't know where my brochure is right now, but it is um, Most Adored, and it's got all these Valentine kind of, but not strictly Valentines because a lot of people like pink and gold and red, so let me show you some of the patterns. But this is one of my favorite patterns. And on the back side, it's got white with gold metallic hearts. I'm gonna be using this marbled pattern a little bit as well. And on the back there are, is white paper with hearts and gold flowers. Here's a gold marble with a pretty on the diagonal kind of plaid going on. That's really pretty too, I like that. And there's these hearts, and this heart also has a background that's, it's not flat, it's, I, I can't really tell what it is, my eyes are playing tricks with me, but it, it appears like it's textured. It's not, it's very flat. And on the back side of that is larger gold flowers. And let's see, what other ones we have? Oh yeah, we have these hearts, these pink hearts with this, I don't know what this is, gold stripey thingies on the back. And we've got a gold foil plaid with just some uh, pink with some white floral hearts there. And I think that's all of the patterns. I think I've shown you them all. So that's most adored. So it is free with a $50 purchase during the rest of this month. All right, hi Sheila, glad you could come up here. Deb says she's working on 12 of last week's project for a family Valentine party next week. Oh, great. I love that project. I really, really do. Okay, so now that we've got this, I'm not removing the backing just yet, but here's what I'm going to check. I'm going to fold this in half, and this should line up perfectly, which it does. So now I can remove that. And if I fold it over in half, 
that's gonna stick perfectly. And then when I pop it open, look, I've got a beautifully square box. Nice, huh? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to pinch this closed, okay? And you can see that the sides form themselves. To hold this shut, I am going to use another piece of sticky strip, uh, not sticky strip, tear and tape. I do that all the time. So let's see how long we need it. Let me get my scissors out that don't have a measurement on it and a holder on it. That should be good. And we're just gonna tuck this in here to the end. Doesn't have to be right on the end, it can be a little bit in. That's gonna be fine. If it wraps around to the edges, that's fine too. Now that is the trick. Uh, I'm gonna need my tape to pick tool to get in there. My hands don't wanna be working today. So I'm just gonna take the backing off with my take your pick tool, I think. Come on, come on, cooperate. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So, and then I just, I squeeze it together. And there we go. Okay. You can also use this with glue, but remember the glue takes just a little bit longer to set up. And so now, this is a this is a treat box that you can't open. Once it's closed, it's closed. So unless you want to, you know, punch some holes and thread thread some ribbon through it, you're gonna need three Ghirardelli chocolates. So let me get in my bag. I've got my three Ghirardelli squares, and I've got them in pink because they're dark chocolate raspberry. I got a whole bag of them at Valentine's Day, or near Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to squeeze the other end. That's going to do the same thing. The ends kind of fold in here naturally. You can see that nice crisp line right there. That, um, that really helped it kind of come together nicely. And so we'll just cut another piece here. So tell me, everyone. Um, these would be great uh, wedding um, and anniversary card uh, DSP as well. And these would be nice favors, I think, for a wedding. No weddings in my future. Not with my kids anyways. Which is good. One of them doesn't have a girlfriend. The other one probably never will. But he wants one in the worst way. But that's a story for another day. Most of you know it anyways. All right. So there we go. So there is our treat holder. It's all sealed up, ready to go. We just need to decorate it. And again, if you're doing Valentine's, you're probably making multiples. And so you don't want to spend a whole lot of time die cutting. I mean, you may, but you'd have to start earlier. So I'm just gonna keep this really simple. I've got a piece of, now this measurement right here, this width, the square that's on top is two by two. So this is one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. It's just gonna fit on there pretty nicely. And I'm gonna bring in a piece of that um, marbled, the, the Flirty Flamingo marbled paper that I mentioned. And this is, uh, I'm not even gonna stamp on this. I'm just gonna adhere it. So let's bring in my my glue here. So in the beginning, I opened up the chat with Heidi Ho stampers. And I asked the question, who knows where I from where I adapted that greeting? This is not cut to the right size. Ooh, I gotta, gotta go back. Gotta go back and cut. Let's see. Let's see if I can find my trimmer which I can because I cleaned up. So the red was one and seven eighths. This is going to be one and three quarters. This is one and three quarters. And let's do one and three quarters. All right, now this might work. Oh, that's so much better. It fits nicely. So I'm not seeing anybody answering. Nobody knows. How about if I said, 
Heidi ho neighbor. Now, if you're young, you're not going to get this reference. But if you watch TV and you're, I don't know, a little younger than, than me or older than me. Um, so if you're in your, maybe even if you're in your 40s, but if you're in your 50s or your 60s, you should know the reference. Um, nope, not Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Nope, not Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. It's a good guess because I'm Mrs. Rogers, but that's not right. Um, let me segue to, um, I've got one spot left in my trusty tools uh, stamp camp. And that segue is a hint to where that saying came from. Right now I'm going to uh, stamp love you in real red on my flirty flamingo piece. How about if I said something like, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I can't even do it right. <laughs> or, or, no, I can't do it right. It's a kind of a manly kind of grunt kind of weird thing. I can't do it right, but that's what it is. Nobody. So put that together with my clue that um, my trusty tools camp is coming up. And I'll tell you before we go, but surely somebody knows. So this is the Bee Builder Punch, but it's got two hearts in it. So I'm just going to use the hearts. So we've got that. And then I need a scrap of red, which oh, I don't think I got out. Uh, hold on. I've got it. I've got red. I'm going to punch out three little hearts. Tim the Toolman Taylor. Yes, that is correct. Wilson used to say that. Deb, you win. You got it. Hi, yo, neighbor. That was Wilson peering across the fence, talking to Tim. All right. So now we're going to just take this and I'm going to glue some hearts on. Now, if you were making a bunch of these, you could certainly put people's names on them instead of love you. Or you could um, put love you, put maybe another heart and then write their names below. I'm just going to scatter my hearts on there somehow any which way all right and then we put a little bit on here close this up so it doesn't dry out let's get my and it is much easier to put this on once it's full. And of course, you can put any treats you want in it, but the Ghirardelli's do fit perfectly. So there is our little, little pouch ready to make somebody's day. Uh, Betty says that bee punch is so versatile. You are so right. You know, I really, I really did not, I, I really didn't, plan on getting the Be My Valentine bundle, but I did it and I'm so glad I did because I have used this more than any other Valentine set I think I've ever had. I love the bee and the bee can go for, you know, all summer, spring and summer long, right? And it's got the honeycomb. So it doesn't have to be strictly for Valentine, but this punch is great because you can make the bee because you've got the stinger and this is the place where you can punch out the, the uh, antenna and this is the wings, but you've also got the hearts. And then this is of course a thought bubble or a word bubble. So um, it's so, so, such a great punch. Even if you don't care about the set, this is a great punch, I think. Uh, Cause you've got hearts and you've got a conversation bubble. What more do you need to add to some cards? So. That is our project for the day, and um, I hope you've enjoyed it. 
the next time I'm going to come live to you is going to be at uh, on Friday Night Live. So stay tuned back then. But in the meantime, have a great day. I will see you later.